Good afternoon, students at Westosha Central High School. Coming to you live from the remote principal's office in lovely Waukesha, Wisconsin. This is Mr. Van Kieran. Wanted to reach out. First of all, I hope you appreciate that for this video. Really made sure to have my hair right, the lighting of the clouds uh, and the video quality. It's difficult for me. Anyway, I digress. Wanted to send you a message today about two things. One is persistence, and the other one is our schedule on Friday. This is, um, as I said in my last video, you know, it, it's a difficult and different time for us all, but that doesn't mean we can't persist. Um, you know, we're all facing different challenges in our lives as it relates to school, as it relates to society, um, as it relates to our own personal lives. And, you know, it's important characteristic as you move through life to have persistence and right now um, it's a fantastic way to develop your persistence and I think it's an important characteristic as you move forward that you have and, it, and it's okay if your persistence sometimes falls short that's why you have supports in your life it's why your teachers are here it's why we're here for you so we are now a few days away from spring break um, and I have talked with a lot of principals and a lot of students uh, from around southeastern Wisconsin. We have a pretty late spring break and that's okay because I think you have had to persist through three weeks of online learning and I think uh, you're all going to be better off as students uh, and individuals um, moving forward. So the persistence and the challenge is how can you as a student persist through this week and make sure that as we're finishing up and heading towards spring break that you persist in your classes, persist in your work, persist in your communication, because I think that's really important. Um, as it relates to this week on Friday, Friday is still a school day. Uh, we have a virtual school day. I know maybe some maybe got the message that it wasn't. No, we, we have class, but the purpose of Friday is a little different. There's no lessons on Friday. So your teachers won't have like a a Friday lesson. What Friday is for, is for you to catch up, for you to do some things, maybe get some back work done so that when you are finished with your work on Friday, whenever that is, that you're ready for a restful spring break. A spring break where you can, um, you know, have a little gratitude and be around um, your families um, and close your computers, you know, on Friday, whenever you finish. Um, so that um, you can have a, a joyful and relaxing spring break. You know, persisting through the safer at home is not easy. Um, I know that in my own family, um, parents and, and kids, I got three of them, um, we're not used to spending this much time together. Uh, but look for the opportunities um, in your life uh, to see the positive in things um, and continue to persist. And, um, you know, I'm thinking about you. Your teachers are thinking about you. We're all in this together. Uh, we're gonna do the best that we can with what we have when we have it. Uh, I know there's a lot of unanswered questions about the school year, and I wish I could tell you all the answers right now, but unfortunately, that's, that's not the world we live in. Do know that uh, we will communicate with you when we know things um, and make decisions with you, the students, uh, firmly in the middle of our minds. All right, I'm already nearing four minutes and that's enough. So have a great day. Go Falcons, and we'll see you soon.